NBA on 2K Sports. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight, with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie, it's all yours. Well, guys, the Grizzlies are an elite team, but also one of the league's youngest. John Morant said, quote, we're just getting started. Everybody's ultimate goal is to win a championship. We've just got to make sure we're laying brick by brick each day to get better. And at the end, we'll build an empire. Brian? Mm, no shortage of ambition, Allie. Thanks for that. Two of the top rebounding teams in the league are set to clash here tonight, Smitty. Yes, both sides understand that the best rebounding teams are the ones that do it by committee, B.A., and if you can control the boards, you can control the game. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Robert Williams. And it's White in at the one. And for the Grizzlies, inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. John Moran is out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Bain in at the small forward position. Who's got John? Now here's Moran. Here's the pick. Outside Bain. From deep three-point range. That shot is off. Now the Celtics take it the other way. On the wing, Tatum. Guarded by Bain. And it's Porzingis that time. On the assist from Tatum. Check out Porzingis' energy. He's just relentless on both ends of the court. Outside Morant. Bain against Tatum. Now here's Bain. Guarded closely. Here's Adams. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Big man plays by Steven Adams. Using all of his height to dominate the office of glass and end the play. Now here's Tatum. The rebound by Jackson. Williams grabs the board. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. White against Jackson. Here's Porzingis. On target from about 13 feet. Porzingis has gotten his second bucket of the game. Rely on Derek White for good feeds. He plays unselfish heads up basketball. Jackson with a screen on White. White against Moran. Just five to shoot. Jackson outside. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Nice play and credit Jaron for being shot ready. He knew the play was coming to him and he knocked it down. Yep, that one goes. And setting the tempo with an assertive move like where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's Moran. Good work defensively by White. For Boston, they've gone three of four. Off to a nice start. And for people who didn't know about Derek White before last year's playoffs, they sure know about him now. He played big on the biggest stage. Tatum against Bain. Tatum can't hit. The Grizzlies have gone two of six to open up this game. Moran against White. Up top, Moran. High arcing shot. Tatum pulls it in. It's amazing how much energy White brings to the floor, Grant. You know, B.A., he has a passion for the game. He's tough, and he's very intelligent. He makes great decisions. He has all the tangibles you're looking for. Memphis trailing here. Up top, Moran. He's guarded by White. Bain, the pass to Smart. Morant with a screen on Porzingis. Here's Morant. Jackson for three. Counted from distance. Jackson's got six. This is a big part of Jackson's game. It isn't the best looking shot, but it's deadly. White, the pass to Porzingis. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. 
and both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Moran. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. One thing that makes Jaren such a great alley-oop target is his hands measured at enormous 10 inches long. Here's Brown. Tatum's got room. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. Well, plenty of give and take so far. Yeah, six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his first foul. Smart outside. Adams with the ball. Pass to Bain. Five to shoot. Yeah, with his length and athleticism, Tatum has the tools to be a lockdown defender. White, the pass to Porzingis. Over Jackson. Oh, and Jackson with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. to Brown. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. They'll pin that one on Marcus Smart. Uh, becoming a star before our eyes. Brown's work ethic and desire to be great has transformed him into an elite talent. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Aldama's checked in. And both free throws good for Brown. And with the Memphis Grizzlies, Smitty, they felt like an underdog for as long as they've been around. It seems to fuel each and every guy that plays here. B.A., they want to prove the doubters wrong. It's something that has really brought this group together. Here's Aldama. The ball's knocked loose. Here we go. By himself. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. As a defender, White is disruptive with his length and does a good job of forcing turnovers. Pass to Moran. Back to Smart. And here's Morant. The floater. In the 2021-22 season, we saw Ja Morant go from a star to a bona fide superstar, averaging over 27 points, six assists, and five rebounds. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Celtics. They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball and their focus. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on. Not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. He hits the second from the line. The upside Ja Morant has is exciting. An explosive young talent with an outstanding work ethic. Pass to Brown. The fadeaway. And Williams punches it home. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. Man, his efforts well rewarded right there. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Morant with the bucket. Well, Smitty with Morant. His ascension into superstardom was quicker than expected. B.A., before he tweaks his knee, he was in the top five for the MVP race putting himself among the league's elite at the age of 22. And with his passion, he's only going to get better. Oh, stolen by Moran. Oh, 
Here he goes. And so far in this one, two for four. Look how Ja just glides through the contact. He's such a nimble player. Pass to White. Back to Brown from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Now Morant. Five points in the game. Outside Bain. Back to Morant. Smart, a screen on White. Smart, outside. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. And Boston calls time here. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson comes in for Adams. And it's Kennard in for Moran. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for White. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Tatum, over Bain, and Tatum with the basket on the assist by Brogdon. Tatum's got his second basket. And with his incredible height and high release, and Tatum, he usually gets his jumper off pretty cleanly. On the wing, Bain, no one near him. That one rolls around and rims out. Missed opportunity, wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. Brown passes to Williams. Here's Horford. Yep, that one goes. And it's a three-point Boston lead. Yeah, the moment Horford has the rock down low, good night. I mean, just too many moves from the vet. Brockton against Smart. Outside Bain. 4-3. And he can't get that one. And Boston going the other way now. There's Tatum with the three. Drills it from deep. Tatum's got seven points in the game. On the catch and shoot. Tatum is a go-to option. It seems like he's always ready to put up a shot. Kennard outside. Here's Smart. Bain with a screen on Brogdon. Outside Bain. Will it go? Orford pulls it in. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. Boston has gone two for four from range to start things off. Tatum inside. Jackson on him. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Some scouts were surprised when Jackson's wingspan was measured over seven foot five. That's a huge number, especially when you talk about contesting shots. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And here's Brogdon, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Smart. They set the screen. Here's Aldama. Horford covering. Outside Tatum. On the take. Step back and fire. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got four rebounds now. A minute 58 left to play in the first. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. I just love the way Jaron finishes inside with either hand. The defense can't really take everything away. Tatum passes to Horford. It's tipped. Jackson with it. Now Horford defending. Pass to Smart. 
Back to Jackson. Four on the clock. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Tatum passes to Brogdon. Over Smart. And there's Brogdon with the basket on the assist from Tatum. Tatum's got his third assist of the night. Pass to Aldama. Kennard outside. From the elbow. Horford pulls it in. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Tatum. Smart grabs the miss. Memphis has gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. Puts up a three. Rebound Boston. Brogdon with the ball. Here's Tatum. And his fourth make of the day in ten tries. The more strength Tatum puts on, the more effective he becomes, especially finishing through contact. Inside. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Concludes the first quarter of play. Celtics out in front, up by five. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. You've enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and for the Celtics here guys what jumps out to you stat wise oh what a first quarter you love their willingness to make the extra pass and that's really hard on a defense having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground and so it's Boston with it leading by five on the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. Then it's Kristaps Porzingis, then it's Derek White, and it's Hauser in a two-guard. What you like about White, he plays with his head up, willing to share the wealth with his teammates. Moran against White. Now here's Moran, he's covered closely. Outside Bain, shot clock at five. Rebound Boston. When it goes in, it looks pretty. When it doesn't, you question the shot difficulty. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Kennard outside. Pass to Moran. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Now here's Moran. Seven points in the game. Bain with a screen on Porzingis. Outside Bain. Jacks up a three. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got five assists tonight. Great vision by John Moran. Has the passing talent to average double-digit assists. Here's Tatum. He's got 13. And 
and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Shooting two. First free throw is good. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. The Grizzlies have got two of three shots to go in the second. Now Morant, he's got seven. Bain with a screen on Tatum. Outside Bain, launches a three, and again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Quick decision-making of Desmond Bain, not wasting any time going up with his shot. Right side Tatum, and the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times, though, you have to factor in a pattern of behavior. I really believe players who have a history of being called for a lot of flagrant fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Morant. To the middle. Here's Aldama. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Coming off the pick, Morant looks to pass, and he is precise with the location. Outside Tatum. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. If you look back to the Grizzlies postseason last year, there's one thing to remember. For most of their core guys, that was only their second trip to the playoffs. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. good on the free throw well for that very young Grizzlies team I'm thinking that playoff experience last year was invaluable Smitty B.A. no question for every playoff game a young player gets under his belt the more prepared he is for the next playoff run and the second free throw is good and here's Morant seven points in the game Kennard outside Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Trying to defend Kennard. You know he can hit shots with limited space. That helps him get you off balance. falls for him. You know, there's always going to be room in this league for guys like Luke Kennard. He can shoot, he can pass it, and he can put it on the floor. And so he hits both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. A nice shot by Tatum. Growing into his role as a franchise player, Tatum with a huge game. It's been so much fun watching him tonight. Kennard outside. Back to Morant. 
Pass to Bain. Puts it up from 17. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got eight assists in the game. Porzingis with a screen on Bain. And here's Brown for three. Misses his fourth shot of the night. Still hasn't hit one yet. Memphis has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Kennard outside. Back to Moran. Pass to Bain. Shoots from 14. Nice jump shot. Bain's got 10. Beautiful touch from Desmond Bain. So good from the mid-range. And Boston calls time here. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Adams checked in for Memphis. And the Celtics also making a change. Williams is checked in. On the wing, Tatum. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And look at Tatum getting aggressive inside, firing off his shot while drawing the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. That one misses. In 2013, Steven Adams was selected 12th overall by OKC. The first first-rounder born in New Zealand. Yeah, B.A., I mean, Adams is blazing a new trail. An example for kids in his home island of New Zealand. You, too, can become an NBA player. Derek shows the ability to run the floor. His coaches will appreciate that effort. Kennard outside. Payne with a screen on white. Here's Moran. Rejected by Brown. Now here's Tatum. 21 points in the game. Drops in the layup for two. And now a five-point Celtic lead. And watch how Tatum navigates the contact. Just one of the many go-to moves for him in the paint. Outside Morant. Pass to Aldama. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Tatum. And the first one at the line is good. Smart's checked in for Kennard. Brogdon's checked in for Boston. So one for two that time at the stripe. The Celtics have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Brown passes to Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. He's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. Back to Morant. Payne with a screen on Brogdon. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity.
And Morant, no good on that one. The Celtics have gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. And he lobs it up to the rim. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Smart outside. Pass to Moran. Bain with a screen on Brogdon. Here's Moran. Outside Bain. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. Porzingis is checked in for Boston. Horford comes in for Jason Tatum. Brogdon with the ball. Horford outside. Porzingis in the post. Adams covering. Oh, Adams with the block. That's the length of Adams, but also the good instincts defensively. And he lobs it up. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Porzingis. Boston, no good that time either. Memphis has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Moran against Brogdon. Kicks it out to Jackson. That three's off the mark. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Horford. And here's Brogdon. Now here's Brown. Guarded by Bain. Shoots a fadeaway. And that one good. The all-around game of Brogdon. I mean, he's all for doing what's best for the team. A selfless passer. Moran against Brogdon. Two points. That one goes. Moran's got 11 points. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Brown. It's a putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Celtics lead by six. I love the relentless attitude he showed there. Got himself in great position under the glass. He had the presence of mind to know exactly where the rebound was going. Now here's Moran. He's got 11. It's stolen by Brogdon. Now the Celtics on the move. Pass to Horford. The three is up. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got six rebounds now in the game. Smart passes to Moran. Back to Smart. Oh, got a piece of it. Six on the shot clock. Gets Bain. Shoots over Brown. Horford pulls it in. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Crosses over. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And sly move by Brown to ensure the foul. He won't pass up on a chance to draw one off you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Both free throws good for Brown. Here's Morant. 11 points in the game. Pass to Jackson. Spins. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. Morant, no good. Boston's shooting around 60% in the second. An excellent number. Tatum passes to Horford. Oh, the swap by Adams. And they're pushing it up. Tatum with some nice D. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. 
Here's Porzingis. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Tatum's got four assists now tonight. At 7-3, tough to challenge Porzingis' shot without making contact. That could have drawn a whistle. Now here's Moran. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I'll tell you what, Ja Morant just keeps coming at the defense. He misses the free throw. Good on the second one. Boston has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Outside Tatum. Grizzlies with the rebound. Now Morant. He's got 12. One nineteen left to play in the first half. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Brogdon. Pass to Brown. Horford, a screen on Adams. And here's Brown for three. Unable to get that one. Memphis trailing here. There's 47 seconds left in the second period. And here's Jackson, hounded by Tatum. Shoots from the baseline. Jackson can't get it to go. Boston on offense. They're on a 15-6 run. Tatum passes to Brown. There's the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Tatum's got five assists tonight. A dangerous shooter from all areas. Brown's eyes get real big when he shoots these corner threes. Now here's Moran. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Porzingis finds Tatum. For three. That shot off the mark. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Boston Celtics. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Yeah, in the first half, he took on the role of playmaker. I think it surprised the defense a little bit. Gave this offense a different dimension. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. Marcus Smart out there with Ja Moran. And it's Bain in at the small forward position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. 
Now here's Smart. Pass to Moran. Outside Bain. Takes the three. Offensive board. Adams, shot's good. What I like about Adams, he just knows where to be. Nice play. Brown passes to Tatum. And then Tatum slams it in. And we don't always get to see this from Tatum. Adding the sizzle to the steak. Smart against Brown. Here's Moran. Down low. Brown against Smart. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Pass to Jackson. Fires for three. Lockdown defense by Porzingis. When he moves his feet to get in position, his length is unbelievable. Brown against Smart. Tipped. Stolen by Jackson. Smart outside. He's off on that one. Nice D from Brown. And so it's Boston with it. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Back to Tatum. Here's Williams. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Salvage the possession. He's a terrific offensive rebounder. Morant, the pass to Smart. Back to Morant. Into the lane. The three from Bain. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Bain against Tatum. Uses the glass on the layup. Tatum's got 32 points in the game. With how well Tatum moves, sometimes you forget he's 6'8", but he's got great size, putting it to use down low. Now here's Smart. Pass to Moran. Over White. Porzingis grabs the board. The Celtics have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. On the wing, Tatum. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. The Grizzlies have got just two of six in the second half. Smart outside. Pass to Moran. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one on Tatum. Every team is looking for that star to lead them to great things. Morant already looks the part. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. one's no good. Tatum against Moran. Williams. And Williams punches it home. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, we found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence to keep playing throughout the pandemic. We are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Allie. Now here's White. Outside Porzingis. Misses the three. 
Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Moran. Fires it from 18. Chalk up two there. Moran's got 15 points. What a night for John Moran. Showing off that versatility, and he's relentless at the offensive end. Here's Tatum. That shot, no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Now Morant. Back to Smart. Jackson outside. Pass to Morant. Shot clock at six. Adams a screen. Morant, the pass to Adams. And stolen by Williams. Morant against White. Now Tatum. Knocks it loose. Memphis has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Moran against Tatum. Smart right side. Shoots over White. And the Grizzlies get another bucket right there. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. On the wing, Tatum. Pass to Williams. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got seven assists in the game. Memphis has gone seven for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Smart outside. Morant with it. Shoots over White. And that one hits the back iron. The Celtics have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. To the inside. Stolen by Jackson. Pass to Moran. Here's Bain. He's guarded by White. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. It's so easy to get frustrated when you make mistakes. But you have to keep battling. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Now here's Brown. He's got 11. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. They are dominating the paint in this one. Consistent work inside throughout the game. And you have to talk about the passing, too. I mean, the ball has been zipping around on the offense, and they've kept the extra pass mentality the whole way. No good on that one. He sinks the second. And here's Smart. He's got five. Pass to Moran. Shoots over White. And Moran gets it to go on the assist from Smart. Smart's got three assists in the game. White the pass to Tatum. Fires in the triple. Tatum's got 10 points in the quarter. There's no lack of confidence in Tatum when it comes to his three-point shot. He's looking to do damage from long range on every possession. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. Kennard, he's checked in for Memphis. The Celtics also with a sub. Horford, he's checked in for Chris Stops Porzingis.
Jackson finds Kennard. Now smart. On the wing, Bain. Six to shoot. Adams inside. Working on Williams. Denied by Tatum. Tatum makes it easy for his teammates with his defense. He's always a threat to block shots, and he can cover any part of the floor. Now here's Tatum. A 17-point lead, their biggest. White for three. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. Here's Tatum. Give him 35. And there it is for him. Now here's Smart. On the wing, Bain. Shot clock at five. Boston with a rebound. Williams has got seven rebounds. in the game on the wing Tatum no good Memphis is gone only one of three from deep here in the third and some will remember that Desmond Bain was the last pick in the first round in the 2020 draft which is something he has used as motivation over the years now here's Tatum 37 points for him Horford can't hit. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Here's Bain. He's got 13. He takes it in. Smart up top. Kennard on the wing. Connects from downtown. Kennard's got five. You know, it's clear now the teams are kicking themselves for not picking Bain earlier in the draft, Smitty. B.A., the reason why he's proven that he can be a huge part of the rotation, a lights-out three-point shooter and rugged defender, a player any team would love to have. Memphis has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Brown against Smart. Pass to Kennard. of room around him. He has seven. Can't let Kennard get this close. Once you do, he's going up with it. And the Celtics call time here. Aldama's checked in for Memphis. Ja Morant comes in for Smart. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swap. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. A minute 58 left in the third. Kennard outside. Pass to Moran. Here's the floater. Boston with a rebound. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Horford against Moran. 
Now here's Porzingis. Clock at six. Here's Horford. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Celtics lead by 16. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. Now here's Moran. He's got 17. Horford inside. The rebound by Jackson. Memphis has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Pass to Kennard. To the right side. Right side, Moran. With the teardrop. And Porzingis with the block. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Shot clock at three. Here's Kennard. And again, Memphis no good. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Pass to Porzingis. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Five points in the game. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. And so it's the Boston Celtics up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. Well, when you win the battle of turnovers, you typically win the battle of possessions. More 2K action in just a moment. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. So the Celtics five right now. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum. They're the forwards. Then it's Derek White. Then it's Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Hauser in at the shooting guard position. To the left wing. Fires the three. Rebound Boston. Porzingis has got rebound number five here tonight. The three is up. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. Standing at 7-3. We have never seen a player quite like Kristaps Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Free throw good from Porzingis. And he's good on the second. He nails the third. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Eldama. Kennard with it. Let's go with a three. Knocks down the long J. The range of Luke Kennard on display. This guy is a lights out shooter. I see you, I see you. Brown with it. To the paint. 
Here's Porzingis. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Porzingis has got five points now this quarter. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Takes a three. Called in by Brown. Brown's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Bowser can't get it to go. Memphis has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Pass to Aldama. From downtown. Kennard can't get it to go. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Outside White. Tatum with it. Knocked away. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Baines checked in. For Memphis, they've gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Timeout time call. Time Memphis. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today? The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Well, he's getting in a groove at the perfect time, just as they're getting ready to do battle in the postseason. Morant finds Bain. Now Kennard. And the jumper is good. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. On the wing, Tatum. Morant against White. Outside Morant. Kennard outside. They set the pick. Five to shoot. Back to Morant. Unloads. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got 11 rebounds in the game. Kennard against White. Outside, Brown. Porzingis sets a screen. Pass to Hauser. From behind the arc. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. And the Celtics lead by 17. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on White. And he drops the first. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Adams checked in for Aldama. And Smart subbed in for Kennard. Williams has checked in for Boston. He's perfect from the line this time. 
The Celtics have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Tatum against Jackson. Now Tatum. Outside White. Fires the three. And the Celtics another three. Demonstrating how efficient he is. Derek has a great feel for when to fire away. Out to the wing. Here's Morant. Cans it from the wing. Morant's gotten four this quarter. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Here's Hauser. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Smart. And up the court come the Grizzlies on the break. On the wing, Bain. Outside Morant. Back to Bain. Just five on the clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot. From deep three-point range. Here's Jackson. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. In terms of raw tools, Jaron could become one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. We'll see how it plays out. Now here's Brown. And the shot goes in. And the Celtics lead by 16. Here's Morant. On the wing, Bain. Looking to end this cold spell. And they recover it. Jackson against Tatum. White with the steal. It's Brown on the wing. Williams a screen on Smart. Brown can't hit. Memphis has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Bain got it. Good job in the low post. Desmond Bain showing off his strength. That's a tough shot inside. Top of the key. And they pick up two. Tatum's got 39. He has taken it upon himself to score the ball as much as possible for his team. He's not looking to pass it right now. Smart passes to Moran. A good look from Bain. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him tonight. And the Celtics call time here. Kennard, he's checked in for Moran. Porzingis has checked in for Boston. Brogdon comes in for Jalen Brown. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. He loves the pressure D. He told his guys, quote, we've got them on their heels. They're making mistakes. Do not let them get comfortable. We'll see if they can maintain their disruptive ways down the stretch. Back to you. Okay, thanks Allie. Outside Brogdon. On the wing, Tatum. Over Jackson. 
Second chance shot. And Porzingis lays it in. Porzingis has got seven points for the quarter. An authoritative play by Porzingis. Dominating the glass and getting the second chance look. Smart passes to Kennard. Bain with it. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. For Boston, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. There's Tatum with the three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Outside Bain. White against Kennard. Bain with a screen on Tatum. Jump shot is good that time. Nice find by Luke. Shows good vision in both half court and in transition. Brogdon, the pass to Porzingis. Over Adams. Porzingis misses. The Grizzlies have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Pass to Kennard. And here's Bain. Smart for three. Nails it from three. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Tatum against Jackson. Now here's Tatum. Tight defense on him. Porzingis for three. Smart grabs a miss. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Kennard outside. Back to Smart. Floats one up. And he lays it up and in. Smart has got seven points here in the quarter. Such a graceful move. Showing off the floater game. Tatum draws the double. Pass to White. Stolen by Kennard. To the inside. Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. The young fella usually goes about his business. But on that play, it was a highlight reel from Jaron Jackson. On the wing, Tatum. Tipped away. Jackson down low. No good that time. Boston has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Tatum draws the double. Pass to Hauser. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Coming into the league, putting up points was no problem for Tatum. But now he's creating scoring opportunities for others. Brockton against Smart. Shot clock at six. Here's Kennard. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Always working to find open territory. Kennard's lethal in catch and shoot. And Boston calls time here. He's checked in for Memphis. And the Celtics also making a change. Brown's checked in.
The Celtics with the lead. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. And here's Moran. Let's the three fly. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Calling for the ball in crucial moments. Morant steps up when it matters most. Tatum passes to Brown. Great D that time from Bain. Memphis has gone four of nine from three-point range in the fourth. Jackson can't get it to go. Bain against Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Bain. Here's Brown. Misses off the left iron. The thing is, you want to do everything you can to help your team. And sometimes you just try to do too much. Adams with a screen on Brogdon. Morant, the pass to Adams. He can't get that one to fall. Great D that time from Porzingis. Outside Tatum. Beyond the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Tatum's got 42 in the game. Yeah, such a good-looking jumper. Nice high release. Tatum can do this all day. Morant, the pass to Smart. 114 left to play in the fourth quarter. Five on the clock. From deep pain. Porzingis grabs the board. Boston's gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. There's Tatum with the three. And again, Boston with the triple. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best time out, time when it out. matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Timeout call. Memphis. They're trailing by nine. There's 53 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Bain. Adams a screen. Looking to get it going. Bain finds Adams. Great D that time from Porzingis. Here's White. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. And now an 11-point Boston lead. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Now here's Tatum. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Just five to shoot. Pass to Brogdon. And again, Boston with the triple. Love watching Brogdon make the right reads. He's more than capable of converting catch-and-shoot opportunities. Morant with it. Off the mark. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. So long, everybody.